when we grasped the basics of machine learning and trained our first machine learning model in Teachable Machine, it is time to use it in practice. Let's import our model into Scratch and use it as a computer vision controller for our Scratch game. And now activity number two. We trained our model in Teachable Machine to recognize our gestures and now we want to use the model elsewhere and the most basic thing we could use is to apply it into uh, some kind of a scratch-like application where we could perform any, any multimedia activity we have on our mind for our model. And I'm using right now the application which is a modification of, of scratch but pay attention it's not the regular version of scratch this application is available at uh, on the website playground race mit edu as always links in the description and what what we can do here more than in the regular version of scratch is that we have this uh, ai extensions available here and the one that is interesting for us is teachable machine so i add the this first extension teachable machine and as you can see it already started the video input in the window of of my scene here and now we can start and build our own application upon the machine learning model that we created so if we take this block use model and here we need to paste this url that was generated by teachable machine so we have this url to the model that we uploaded to the cloud and we launch it we have here this green light that it is working okay and the other thing we need is this model prediction block so this is the the output of the model if i click if i click it now it uh, outputs the nothing classification that the model performs so for example if i just do something very simple i take the forever loop and from looks i'll take the say i will take the sprite I make the sprite say this this model prediction label mm. and start this thing he will just be saying you see left right nothing he just says what he sees what the model sees this the sprite repeats just this label name he he works it works correctly left right nothing okay so now we can do anything we uh, we already know <laughs> in scratch we can apply our model as a controller to any scratch game i won't go uh, deeply into that i'm sure you have your own ideas of activities you could do in scratch that you could attach this model to but just something like something very simple uh, for example let's just add the condition if If the model prediction is if the model prediction is left, move motion and move the sprite to go to go to left side of the screen just like he is right now over here. And if the model prediction is right, I want him to move right. So then I will duplicate this. If the model prediction is right, move the model to X150. 150, just like something like here. And let's start this. And let's see left, right, left, right, left, right. So you see by moving my hand now by showing the gestures, I control the sprite so we could attach this to any game like catching objects falling from the top of the screen or something else like a car driving a road whatever comes to our mind and to the imagination of your students we can still add maybe the third condition nothing and then when nothing move to zero okay let's see if it works nothing left right Right, right, left, right, nothing. It works. So, as you can see, it's very easy to apply and use our model trained in the teachable machine to some 
other application where we can perform some more advanced activities upon the thing that we trained our model to do.